Hi, did you mean financial issues that entrepreneurs face are obviously cash, right? Cash flow issues and working capital. And these are the same issues that have been identified by Barbara Corcoran in her podcast talk with Entrepreneur Magazine. So while the cash flow issue is obvious, right? Obviously you need cash in order to run your company, the working capital issue may not be so obvious to some people because you may not quite understand what the working capital is. And so in this video, I'd like to talk about that and explain why it's such an important factor to consider as you're thinking about your funding needs. My name is Victoria Yampolsky and I run the Startup Station, a comprehensive resource for modeling and valuing early stage ventures. Working capital is the capital that you need to run your company day to day. Now, what does this mean, right? Because what I just said sounds potentially very confusing and very similar to cash, right? Because you also need cash to run your company day to day. And that is absolutely correct. You need both, right? So where does this capital come in play? is in three situations. Situation number one, you sell your products on credit, which means that you sell them, but don't yet get cash for them because you're giving your customers some time to pay you back, right? This is what's generating an accounts receivable, which is an item on your balance sheet that reflects money that your customers owe you, okay? Number two is inventory. If you're selling products, you first have to make a product before you can sell it, okay? And in order to make the product, you have to spend the cash. Okay, so both of those activities, accounts receivable and inventory, tie up money in your company, tie up cash, right? And yet this is what you need to operate. Now you understand why inventory, just in time inventory is becoming so popular because people want to reduce the amount of time between the make the product to the time when they sell the product since this ties up cash and increases the capital that they need to run their company. Okay, there is one activity that is good for your cash flow, which is accounts payable. And this is the money that you owe to your suppliers or vendors, right? So this is the opposite of accounts receivable. In this case, you are the customer of somebody else and they are giving you time to pay them back. Right, so this concerns your cash because you can use that time to collect money from your customers or to sell your products. So, as you're thinking about your business model, if your business operates in any of these three situations, if you're going to extend credit to customers, if you're going to have to maintain inventory of your products, or if you're gonna have some time to pay your suppliers or vendors, then you have working capital and you need to consider it when you're thinking about your funding needs. This is in addition to your costs that you're going to incur uh, regularly to operate your business. To learn more about all of the accounting concepts, please take course number one on the Startup Station site. And as always, thank you for watching. Please uh, like it below, share it with your friends, and I will see you next time.